Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 998. If you want to download this workbook 997 to 999, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a data set with some dates and some products. And we need to conditionally format the entire row when the product expires, and that's in six months. So let's see how to take these dates move them six months into the future, and then we can compare them to today's date. And it will be dynamic as the days go by. Um, products, when they become expired, will be conditionally formatted. All right, we've got to look at the edate function. It's great. You give it a start date, comma, and you tell it in months how far in the future you want. So we're just going to say 6. You Control Enter. Whoops, I have speak cells on enter. Speak on enter. I'm going to turn that off. That's uh, not a default button. All right, I'm going to copy this down. So there are our dates. Now we just need to use the today function, today. And this always gives you today's date. And today is 531. Double click and send it down. Tomorrow it'll say 61. Now we can directly compare these dates. So our expiration date is 620. We're not there yet. 9, 18, 2013, not there yet. Ah, but this one expired on 323. The product is expired. So we can simply take whatever today's date and ask the question, are you greater than the expiration date? Control Enter, false. We get a true only when the product has expired. Now, let's put this all together in a single cell, because we're going to use a uh, true-false logical formula, just like we did here, um, for this whole data set. And notice something about this. Both for If we're going to highlight the whole row, both of these cells have to be looking at the date. So I'm going to come over here and highlight the parallel range. And in the active cell, I'm going to build my formula that I'm going to use in the conditional formatting dialog box. This was just so we could see how it works. Now I'm going to put it all together. Is today greater than E date of what? Now that cell reference, when we copy it over to the next column, it needs to be locked on A. But when we move it down, the 4 needs to move to 5. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times, lock the column reference, but not the row, comma, 6. And that will work. Control Enter to populate this one formula in the active cell into all the cells. And you could see right here, we were locked on A4. But when it gets copied down, it moves to A5, properly looking at the correct date for each row. Now, I've pre-formatted this. You can see the trues. Now, now that we've created our formula, notice I'm going to copy from the upper left uh, cell, Control-C in edit mode. And then for conditional formatting, I'm going to highlight and make sure the active cell is the same parallel cell as the one I just copied from. I'm going to use Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. The old keyboard is Alt-O-D, Alt-N. Now I'm starting to think, and if you've been watching uh, Excel is fun here at YouTube for years. I always use Alt O D, but I just noticed that Alt O D N, those keys are far apart. But if you use the new one, Alt H L and then N, those are closer together. So perhaps it's easier. Alt H L N, arrow, 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 tab, Control V. Use a formula, and there's our formula. Here's our formatting button. Click OK, because we use mixed cell references, only the correct row will get it. And this is dynamic. Um, as the days go by, because we use the today function, uh, these will become highlighted only as they expire. All right, we'll see you next trick.